Hello guys, this is Prems here. Today I am going to show you how to convert this images sequence into this video. So yeah guys, let's get started from scratch without wasting any time. We are going to use OpenCV for that and to get the images into python we are going to use os module now if we define the path of the image sequence as path right and then we can say out path so it will define where the output video will be there image to video I have prepared some folders for this tutorial and if we define output video name name so the out name of the output video I will set it to fielding cube 2 dot mp4 right and now we can define the output we output video full path equals to out path plus out video name right and uh, we have to create a list of the all of all the images in the sequence to do that uh, we can do pre images as a new variable right we can say that os dot list del path if we print the pre images yes you can see it has generated all list of the all the images in the folder we can comment this out we will need the full path of the every image so what we will do is image equals to an empty list so we can just append all the items after converting them for so we can convert it by for i in pre images i equals to equals to path plus i right if we print that print and run it yes so we can just add pend it because we can comment it and then image dot append i yes no errors now if we print image yeah this is what we needed now we can put all the images into a video to do that we are going to use OpenCV right video equals to CV2 dot video writer so the video writer function takes an output video name then 4cc then fps and then the size of the video so we can put some of these videos in 
to for the output video name we can put output video full path video full path and then 4cc the 4cc is the encoding algorithm which we define to use as to use to convert the images so we can we can yeah define it as here cv2 dot video writer 4cc there is a function for that and we can cross that out and I'm going to use mp4v so it generates mp dot mp4 file extension then we can here cv2 dot cv2 for cc right and then for the fps i'm choosing 24 and then the size we can say frame equals to cv2 dot im read and image zero in my image sequence all the images have the same size so it is convenient for me if we if you write it like this frame dot shape let's comment this out so it doesn't generate any errors and then print the size let's see so yes it creates a it prints it gets the size of the image so it looks like I have an image of height of 120 180 pixels the width of 1 1920 and 3 channels we don't really need the channels you, we can convert this into list so it is convenient for us and then delete the last element size and then 2 right and then let's print it out let's see what it creates so yeah it is in wrong order actually we need the width first and then the height for the video writer so what we can do is size dot reverse it is as simple as that now if you look yeah it is generating that and we can comment this out and uncomment this and we can put the size here and it hasn't created the video yet we have to add the image separately for that we can do for i in range length of the image variable so it loops uh, loops the number of times as there are frames in the sequence so for for every image we have to do is video dot write as uh, it is a uh, as it in a is it is an ID of the list of the image list what we can do is put the I here right so it gets the path of it but we need the image of it so what we can do is cv2 dot i am read put it here so yeah and it has now created the video and now to output the video we can do is video dot release so yeah it is the name with the video now if we run it we 
we should after the new line is come that means the program is run we can look at the folder yes it has created the file and as you can see it is in dot mp4 and it is playing so it works now to show that some progress is happening what we can do print the print frame and then then i plus 1 as it is id it starts from 0 but we want to start it from 1 so we can just add it, add 1 to it and then and we can like of the length of image right let's just see that some error is there okay we have to put comma here that's the error and now if we run it yeah so it shows that some progress is happening and what frame it is writing now so yes if uh, there is all already a file name like this it will just uh, overwrite it so keep that in mind and now if we after the after it has outputted the video if we print that out put it video to and then comma out path now if we run it so yeah let's see yeah it has output it to f plus it shows us yeah it works so that's it for guys today guys thank you for watching i hope i have helped you today enjoy the rest of your day